So Cricket Love Stories with Mini Okagram. Today we're joined by Aranga Mendes. How's things going? Very good, Mike. Very good, yeah. Uh, appreciate your time today. So Aranga, you're going to give us an off-spin bowling masterclass, some tips and tricks for all. But before we get into it, let's talk a little bit about your career. You played first-class cricket back in Sri Lanka. You actually were originally a a leg spinner before a few injuries turn you into an offie. Talk us through it. Yeah, when I was young, like any kids, you know, the first pick was a leg spin. Is it quite easy to kind of roll over? Uh, then um, through my journey, so start, you know, they have a few injuries. My fingers, um, the same thing have been broken, you know, a couple of times. And because of she, um, sort of, you know, the dedications and commitment, I still want to be involved with the game. So I turned it to be off spinner. So that works out pretty well. So uh, yeah, so that means I can actually uh, teach you and give you some lessons about you know the off spin and leg spin. Uh, that's something I did my um, my own level uh, from young age to the professional level. And then in the UK, you've worked with Surrey before, some well-known household names. Oh yeah, so likes of Emma Worthy um, when these times at the academy. At Surrey, uh, we worked with him, um, so it's worked really well. Been pleased to see him uh, doing really well uh, at the post class level. Um, I reckon it's, it's a matter of time for him to be breaking into uh, the England uh, team. Uh, yeah, so there's a number of players that work across, um, not from the UK but across the world as well. And then you've also got your spin bowling clinic. We'll put all the links in the description below. But talk us through it. Yeah, I mean that this started quite a while back, and this uh, this spin bowling clinic is the 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 organisations um, giving spin bowling consultancy from grassroots level to international level uh, across the world, uh, online and offline, uh, the players to develop their spin bowling. Uh, so we we work very closely with um, with the clubs and the schools and the universities and the counties and individuals for their, uh, their players will be able to help you know, develop their skill towards the next level. Yeah, it's a fantastic system you've got. So whoever's watching this, please do check it out. But for now, Aranga, can't wait to get into this off-spin bowling masterclass. Let's go. Right, so it starts with a run-up. I think um, the run-ups is a very personal uh, one. Uh, well, just uh, the, the, you know, the a quick demonstration about the run-up for the, some of the viewers that can understand this. Uh, I put you know, the three cans down here, so the white, red, and the blue. Uh, the idea of this is some players still like to run a bit more straight to the target, and some like to run a bit more soft angle to the target, and some like to actually run a bit more stiff angle and then ball to the target. So what my advice for you, anyone who's watching this, is all this three is absolutely fine, as long as it works for you. Uh, I think the important thing is each, every individual would have a bit more own way to bowl. Some like to walk and bowl, and some like to run and bowl, and some like to do a bit of both. So the other way is absolutely fine, as long as it works for you. Uh, and my advice would be to feel to have kind of in a rhythmical balance approach and try and explore the crease and just you know the finishing off the follow through. So start from the top of the mark. So is anyone willing to, to right handed batsman for an off spinner in this case? You're going to start it on the top of the mark and then you need to have a bit more repeatable runner and repeatable explode the crease and the reportable are followed through. So I'm going to run through quickly now it's just to what this means. So mine a little bit more walk and and then have a bit of you know run up in the middle. Some might run from the start from the top and some might actually walk and the last through three steps might be actually running you know the ball. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to 
start with using the crease, a simple drill that you can do. You put the can in the middle of the, in the, middle of the crease um, and then try to use the other side, you know, the, uh, the crease. So you can use a bit more close to the uh, retained crease as well as closest to the stumps. And just play with it and see what it looks like. But you must remember, as, much, you know, as long as you're you know, the, uh, trying to use the crease, you need to alter your angle of your run up. So you cannot be start from the same you know, the positions to both because you must mess up with you know, the everything, your rhythm and everything. So you've got to alter your angle if you're using the crease. Let's for instance, if we start from the wide of the crease, uh, to the written crease, if I'm gonna bowl, this is my stock delivery to bowl the midway through the crease. I need to move it slightly to this way so that hopefully that create at the same angle so I don't actually feel anything different. So if I'm going to come to the close of the uh, close of the stump, and I'll come a little bit more close to the stump, so that it alter my angle to run into ball. So as soon as you do that, you feel a bit more comfortable, and you'll be able to actually uh, bamboozle your batsman. In this segment, we're talking about in alignment and and about you know using the crease. And of course, we're looking about you know they have to complete your actions and getting a bit more strong versions. We talked about you know if you get your hips and shoulder line to the target, by and large, you'll be able to ball to the line that you deserved. But equally, it's important that you're trying to kind of you know take the body momentum of your brace front leg and drives it through. So it's important. And also, once you complete your actions. You need to get into a bit more solid position to take the return catch positions on your way. So once you get yourself into the crease and the position in your delivery stride, the next thing we're talking about shoulders a bit more up and over, and particularly when you're looking to bowl over spinner. So just a recap: when you bowl there, just make sure shoulders rotate up and over. The front arm equally is a quite important part of this bowling. They usually just try and actually drive this front arm out to the target and then pulling it back and completing the action. So the strong front arm, shoulders rotate up and over, back leg drives through. The key things for you to remember. Right, going to start with the off spin. Um, we'll start with 3-1 uh, grip. So the three fingers down, fold it into the palm and index and thumb stays up. We slot the ball just like this. Just trying to get a bit more up over the ball. The idea is when you're looking to spin off spin, uh, so you're looking to spin the upper the back of the hand and top of the index finger, that's your over spinner. So hopefully, the ball will land on the outside of the off stump and hitting the stumps. Well, the next up is three finger grip. So we're going to have uh, index, middle, and ring finger on the, on the seam, the thumb on and off. Um, and then your pinky fall into the palm. Uh, this is uh, another ball that you can actually change the pace of the ball uh, because it sits a bit more, a little bit longer in your fingers and it might be able to get the batsman out on the disc in the air. Right, the next top is the arm ball. The arm ball is a surprising the batsman. So basically when you ball your stocks ball and then ball the arm ball and hopefully we can get the LBWs or caught behind. There are many ways you can bowl arm balls. Um, they start with what we call a floater. The floater, the one that shapes away from the right-handed batsman, if you get it right. So let's have a look at the grip. So when you actually grip, when you look at the grip, you can see your index finger goes slightly across the seam and your thumb right underneath the seam, just like that. And the rest of the fingers will fall into the palm the idea is when he releases the ball, the ball travels just like that. The seam pointed to the first slip or the second slip, just like an arch swing ball. So as I mentioned, there are a few arm balls that you can use, and the one in the mouth floated. The next one I'm gonna show you is the, the arm ball that we use, what we call a bit more bowling around your wrist. So the ball will travel like a flying sauce, like that. The idea is, to land the ball on the leather, the ball skids on. So to be able to do that, you need to get your wrist coming around 
not over the top but coming around. The next one we're going to talk about in the back spinner, a quite underrated delivery. You can get a few dismissal on this ball. The idea of the back spinner is just about the fist is the ball at the side of the hand. The ball goes backwards and create a bit more skits on the surface to get LBW. Hopefully sometimes it moves away from the batsman. So let's have a look at the grip. Same grip like off spin, so mine is a bit more um, two fingers on the top and the two fingers fall into the you know the palm. The idea is when you're bowling your off spin, you're trying to get up over the ball, just like that. But in this delivery, you're trying to get underneath. So it goes out the side of the hands, so you're almost like a fist out of the you know the side of the hand. But when you release the ball, ball should be released a bit more upright positions. Like current balls, I go one of the best balls in modern day uh, white ball cricket. Um, how we're gonna use, I uh, use the three fingers on the fold in the palm, index and in, you know the, uh, the thumb. You use the middle finger to propel the fit, just like that. So hopefully the ball will deviate off the wicket. It depends on the wicket you bowl at. Some wickets in subcontinental are quite useful. But here in England, I uh, might not be able to do much, as uh, particularly we're looking to bowl in this uh, green seamer. Top spin, arguably one of the best balls to bowl, especially the wickets that suits to get a bit more bounce and get the top edges. So, how are we going to bowl? Same grips. The idea is to try and get a little bit off ball with the ball, the whole play, the seam run down the wicket and ditter it off the you know, surface and get a bit more stiff bounce. The next ball is going to be a side spin or some calls squash you know spin or barrel spin so the grip will be the same and the mine is three the three down and, and one up and slot the ball over there the difference with the overspin and the side spin overspin you're looking to go a bit upper with the ball the side spin you go a bit more around the ball a bit more up the front of the hand one advice for the any spinners um, who are watching this video um, so often you will have you know the a bad day than a good day uh, you might get whack um, and then you know that sometimes you probably you know the ball you know you're not going to have any wickets but I think the biggest thing for you is to have that the big heart and a bit more resilience uh, so some more you know they cut you know whack you a couple of you know the first that would mean that you're bowling bad so you still be able to come back and being able to take the wicket and that's the, what we're looking at so if you can do over the time of period you probably more internally very strong and being able to come up with a strong mindset to bowl like a champion of the baller.